Although this heat sink would probably be good enough for an SSD, you could always install something like this. This is another type of heat sink for an M2 drive, and it also has a fan, two heat pipes, as well as bigger cooling fins to keep your SSD as cool. Let's remove our heat sink. If you have a protective sticker here, remove it. Go ahead and remove the four screws that retain the bottom plate. Peel off protective stickers, place your SSD inside. Be sure that it does stick out on both ends, get it as centered as possible and have enough space on each side in order to install it. Realign your holes. Install your M2 as you would normally. Lining up the tab here, install on a slight angle. To install it, you can just push straight down and it will lock into place. As for your cable, choose whichever route is the cleanest, route it that way and plug it into one of your PWM headers. If you had a PWM connector on the side here, you could simply plug it into there. Or you could also simply run it up and plug it into one of your PWM connectors at the top. Just find a way to hide all your cables as best as you can. 